हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर ऑफ डिस्कनेक्शन अप्रोच आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द सिंथॉन एंड सिंथेटिक इक्वेलेंट इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल टेल यू अबाउट द फंक्शनल ग्रुप इंटरकन्वर्सन और दिस एफ जी आई सो हाउ कैन यू डिफाइन दिस एफ जी आई इंटरकन्वर्जन ऑफ वन फंक्शनल ग्रुप इन टू द एनथर so sometimes what happen when you disconnect any target molecule then you will not get the good starting material or we can say we don't get the is workable starting material then in that case we need fgi so uh, if you uh, do the fgi followed by disconnection then you may have the uh, you may get the good starting material so uh, this fgi is needed when the disconnection is unfavorable so it is needed when disconnection is is unfavorable or we can say or when we don't get don't get good starting material upon disconnection so here one functional group is converted into another functional group by various reaction so all of you know this in organic chemistry we can convert one functional group into the another functional group by various type of reaction for example it may be oxidation reaction substitution reaction reduction reaction elimination reaction so the various reaction that you we for example it may be reduction reaction it may be oxidation reaction or the elimination reaction substitution reaction etc so by these various reactions we can convert one functional group into the another functional group for example suppose if you have anything and if you will disconnect it and if you will disconnect it from here then you will not get the good starting material you will not get the workable starting material so for this when you will see the this nh2 group then always remember you should do the disconnection and use it so first of all you will do the uh, fgi you will do the fgi you will convert this nh2 group into no2 group up uh, so this is the fgi okay now if you will think in a reverse direction then how you can obtain this target material from this nitrobenzene you can obtain it from the reduction so you will write reduction below this f so this is the suppose target molecule and if we want to get this target molecule how you will get the target molecule from nitrobenzene by the reduction of nitrobenzene you will get the anion now you can do the disconnection you can do the disconnection no doubt you will disconnect it from here that is cn bond is disconnected that's why you will write above the arrow you will write cn and you will get negative charge over here and nitronium ion is generated these are the synthon and for these synthon you will write the synthetic equivalent as benzene and hno3 in presence of this h2so4 that is the nitrogen mixture now this is suppose first example second one suppose if you have a benzoic acid suppose if you have acid group means cuh group on the benzene in such case when you see the cuh group then you should remember you should do the fgi 
Now convert this CH group into CH3 group. Okay, so if you think in a reverse direction, suppose this is a target material. So if you will think in a reverse direction, then how can you obtain this benzoic acid from toluene? By oxidation in presence of KMnO4. So that's why you should write oxidation below this arrow. In the same way, suppose if you have a CH like this. So in such case, and suppose our CH group is there, then again you will do the FGI and you can write R C triple bond N cyanide. So CH that is converted into this cyanide. So if you will think in a reverse direction, how can we obtain this acid from this cyanide? By the hydrolysis, so by basic hydrolysis. So you can you can write below the arrow you can write the hydrolysis. Okay. Now fourth one. Now suppose if you have uh, amide, suppose if you have the amide, so in, the, in such case this amide can be converted or if you have uh, RCH2 NH2, RCH2 NH2, okay. So this can be converted into this can be converted into amide. So let's think in a reverse direction. How can we get the amine from this amide? No doubt by reduction. So by reduction of this carbonyl group, you will get the amine. So by reduction, you can get this. Okay. Now suppose if you have cyclohexene. So for this cyclohexene, if you will do the FGI, and what you will write here? So on right side, you can write butadiene plus ethylene. So, so this is the example of a deal side reaction. So if you think in a reverse direction, then this is the example of deal side reaction where this butadiene and this ethene molecule, they undergo cyclization and you will get this. Okay, so below this arrow, you can write deals elder reaction. Okay, so now let's see some uh, more example. So this FGI is very common in case of uh, this uh, alkene, uh, in case of uh, this amine synthesis. So it is very common in case of amine synthesis. So let's see one common example that is FGI in amine synthesis. Amine synthesis. So let's take one amine. If I take one amine, this is your secondary amine. Now, suppose if you do the disconnection, suppose if you are disconnecting this target molecule, if you are disconnecting this target molecule, no doubt, if I disconnect it from here, that is C and bond is disconnected, suppose. Then what will happen? What synthon you will get? R NH minus plus here you will write the plus charge. So you can write the synthetic equivalent directly R NH2 and this alkyl halide. So these are the synthetic equivalent or reacting reacted molecules. So if you will react this, and then you should get the target molecule. But actually, if you are reacting these two, alkyl halide and amine, then you will not get the secondary amine. You will get the quaternary amine. Now, this is the problem here. This is the problem. So, you can write Suppose I write the synthesis of it, 
then first of all this amine in presence of alkyl chloride this will give you secondary amine okay now further alkylation will occur in presence of alkyl halide so it will give you the tertiary amine so this is your secondary amine this is the primary amine now this will again undergo alkylation to give you the quaternary amine so you can see that here multiple alkylation is taking place so that's why we are not getting the target molecule so this is the unwanted product you can say this is the unwanted or undesired product so that's why we need a fgi so so we need fgi to get the desired product okay so if we do the fgi okay so if we have this amine and if we are doing fgi then it it should be converted into amide so as i told you previously this amine can be converted into amide okay now this can be disconnected after this this can be disconnected the cn amide bond is disconnected and you will get synthon these two synthon so corresponding to this the synthetic equivalent will be so this will be the synthetic equivalent okay now if we do the reverse synthesis by taking these two as a starting material then we will get the this Uh, target molecule okay so now if you will write the synthesis then you will get the this desired target material so let us write this synthesis now by reducing it in presence of lithium aluminum hydride we can reduce it to get the desired target material okay so this is the target material okay so this fgi is very common in amine synthesis Now we can take the another example. For example, if we have this amine, so in this case also, so this is your tertiary amine. This is the tertiary amine, and in this case. we should also do the fgi
So this should be converted into amide. And now after converting into amide, we can do the disconnection. Now this is your C and amide disconnection bond. So your synthetic equivalent, this will be the synthetic equivalent. So using these two synthetic equivalent or reactive molecule, you can easily prepare the this tertiary amine. So if you will write the synthesis, then so this will be the this should be written first. So you will get the amide and then this in presence of H2PD, so reduction will occur and we will get the starting target molecule. So this is your target molecule. Okay, so this is about the functional loop interconversion. Now in next lecture we will discuss some of the strategy or some guidelines for the disconnection. Okay, thank you.